Hi, it's Brett from Fee Brown Bag here. We're at Dally MC World, and at the moment we're at the stand with Vertiv or Jeremy from Vertiv. Um, do you want to give yourself a quick introduction, Jeremy? Yeah, uh, my name is Jeremy Willett. I am the uh, product portfolio manager for Vertiv uh, here inside of Dell. Uh, we do everything from uh, power cooling and infrastructure to data center management uh, of your IT gear from server storage and networking. Um, we also offer several great products like the Smart Row behind me uh, is a larger solution for some of our bigger customers, all the way down to in-rack UPS systems like our GXT4. Okay. So, do you have any stories or anything you can share about your product where a customer may put it in for any such reason that you could share so we have a better idea of what your product does? Sure. Um, recently we had a customer who uh, purchased our GXT4s because they had previously had a competitor's UPS and when the uh, controller board failed in the UPS, the entire rack shut down. Uh, with our Libra GXT4 technology, our controller board can fail and we will still provide power to all the unit that's plugged into it. So while our unit may not be running and uh, all the equipment is still working and still in production until we can get a replacement out. So when you have that scenario and a control board fails, are you able to still receive some sort of data, like any monitoring, any management data from the UPS, or is it a bit of a blackout in that area? Uh, most of the time it, it is a blackout, um, so you are completely without any information as far as a, from a power standpoint. But the most important thing and the most the reason why customers buy UPSs is so their equipment will continue to run even when there is not power. So obviously it's really important to us that even if our equipment was to fail, we are still providing power to that equipment. Is it powered on a bypass that it still functions basically just like a dumb UPS in that scenario? Um, it would function as if, as if it were like a bypass to utility power. Okay, can it, can it leverage battery still in that state? No, it cannot because the controller board is what tells it to switch from battery to utility. Fair enough. So what makes your um, product difference. So, like, why would a customer who's had a controller failure decide to go with um, Vertiv, maybe compared to another? Um, the reason why you would choose a Vertiv GXT product is because our controller board will, um, even though it has failed, will allow power to pass through up into the equipment. Um, so, even though our unit is down, technically, all your equipment is still up. Um, another reason why you would choose us is because we offer a best-in-class warranty where it is a two-year warranty and that includes everything that's inside of the box. There's no misconceptions about whether it is just the UPS components that are covered or the batteries that are covered. It is both. Um, so you don't have any type of uh, miscommunication there about thinking that when you have a battery failure you may or may not be covered. Um, additionally, our units cover both the shipping to us and from us, so you don't have to cover any uh, unexpected charges for shipping because our UPSs, just like any UPSs, are kind of bulky and heavy, so it can be quite costly to ship them. Um, and we offer advanced exchange programs, so as soon as we've uh, identified that that unit has failed, we will send you a brand new unit, and then you send us your, your uh, down unit. So you mentioned when we, as in the Royal Wee Vertiv, had yes. seen this failed, so it, does it do a, a call back home? that sort of not the scenario? Or how, um, how do so you know? we do offer what's called life services, which is a proactive monitoring system where um, even if you were not in office to be aware that that unit has failed, we are monitoring all of the UPSs that are on that service um, and can proactively see that that unit has failed, make arrangements to get a unit out to you to where you know, maybe by the time you arrive back to work on Monday morning, there's a UPS sitting there with a service guy sitting there right. waiting to install a brand new unit that you didn't even know it failed. So for that sort of functionality where it can call back home, does the UPS need to do it directly or does it come from like maybe a central management server? So the UPS would be connected to the network via network card and then our service would have access um, to solely that card on your network, nothing else. We don't violate any type of security concerns or anything like that. Yeah, so the UPS will still talk out to the, out to the external party? Yes, manager. yeah. Because it, it's basically telling the card, hey, I'm not capable of protecting this equipment anymore. So Fair enough. All right. Thank you very much. This has been Fee Brambo with Vertiv at Dell EMC World. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.